What is going on YouTube? I'm coming at you with a new video today and it's going to be about making and fabricating and doing everything I need out of two and a half inch straight pipe uh, for a two and a half inch straight pipe for my baby which sits outside behind the cat. Anyway, um, I have a really, so I used to weld. That's what I used to do, but I have never used a flux core welder in my life and I don't actually own my own welder. So I'm going to be borrowing a flux core welder. Okay, there's a flux core welder. Problem with this one is this is my buddy's and I will open this and show you guys. The issue we're having here is that our wire feed is not working very well. So right now I got an unlatch, but if I go ahead and latch it, I'm gonna clean all this up again. Um, I'm still gonna try to do a little bit more with this. I've seen some videos on inter on YouTube of <clears throat> people putting like a clamp right here and it's supposed to make this tighten up on this wire to actually pull through. But if I just go and clamp it the regular old way, you will see, and this doesn't even need to be that tight because that rubber is like stuck. This is just kind of an old machine, but we're getting a very inconsistent feed. So let's focus on this. Okay, come on, focus on the tip. Okay, so anybody who just saw that can see that I cannot weld with that. I tried doing some welds last night and uh, it didn't go too well. It just, the, um, the feed is way, way too inconsistent. So you can't get any sort of like regularity on your welds. So I'm gonna be going up to my hometown, which is about 45 minutes north of where I'm living at now. And I'm going to be borrowing my brother's flux core welder, I think. We'll see. Um, I have no idea what he has. He said he has two welders, so we're going to go check out and see what he has. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm back from my hometown. I got the new welder. It's actually the exact same welder as you can see right there. Wow, this camera is, like, super far zoomed in. I got to hold this further away. But, yeah, so got the new welder. It's exactly the same as the old welder, but the new welder actually works. The issue was this uh, little washer right here. This is upside down. So if you take these two Phillips screws out, uh, flip this over, and there's one side that's like 0.8 or something like that. The other side's 0.6. There's two different little, you can see that there's actually grooves on there. So there's one smaller one and one larger one. So for, uh, I think this is 0.30, I'm using the larger one. So make sure you guys got that one on the right setting. And then also, I noticed that the issue with this clamp was the spring in this old one because there's a spring between this and and this uh this piece of plastic or rubber or whatever it is but there's a spring between those two and the other one i was using did not have that spring so make sure that's in there as well but i've been out here practicing my welds and uh this is very new to me i've never used flux core so these kind of look like crap and also i've never really done like any pipe work for everything the majority of everything i've ever done was flat angles or up and down but i've never like worked with that rotating motion before so it's it's taken a lot of um getting used to also the flux core is also taking quite a bit of getting used to because i'm not used to it popping and stuff quite as much so i keep getting burnt and like jerking my arm around but i'm gonna keep practicing and i am gonna weld up the exhaust this weekend and i'm looking forward to it Right when I start filming Jet. All right, it's now the next day and I am back and I have some free time today. So I got the car up on jacks and I've got what I did yesterday. Now this doesn't look too pretty, but uh, it is what it is. I gotta clean it up a little bit, but I got this whole piece welded up there. Like I said, I'm gonna clean all this up. But uh, so the next step is gonna be, I don't have this welded on yet, by the way, this is just sitting here. Um, but the next step is gonna be taking just this straight part right here, and I'm gonna take my exhaust out, and then I'm gonna get that straight pipe up in there, and we're gonna work off that, so. I don't know how much I'm gonna really include because I'm not an expert of this. Like I said, I'm just in my backyard winging it, so here we go.
Hey YouTube, what's up? It's uh, the next day again. Um, last night we ran into a snag and we ended up just hanging out and drinking beer and stuff instead of actually working. So let me show you guys what I'm dealing with. All right, so here is our old flange that we have on here. And I bought these new ones thinking that they would bolt right up to it. But the issue is not that the pipe size is different, but there you can see that that's happening on both sides of this bolt pattern. So I need to get, focus on that. I need to uh, get those holes drilled out right there so that we can actually bolt both these up. I don't want to cut this old flange off right here because I would still like to be able to put my factory exhaust on and off. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and try to drill some of these back. Um, I've been trying, nothing's really gone through, but I'm going to go ahead and keep trying, and if not, we're going to end up just cutting this off. Oh, my flashlight's still on. All right, so, anyway, um, I'm having a ton of trouble with this situation up in here. So, I'm not able to make any progress on that. You can kind of see I was trying to drill through it, but the drill just, it would not go through. So... What I'm going to do, and I, I do want to do what I'm doing here because I want those holes elongated so that I can bolt up um, this aftermarket exhaust I'm making and so I can still bolt up my stock exhaust sitting right there. I want to be able to bolt both of them right onto this flange. Um, so I am going to end up elongating those holes, but for now I just have this resting up on top of here like this. I drop this down to where it, to, it's lower than it normally is, so this pipe is actually sitting right where it should and I can I have it all pushed up snug so this is pretty much right where this is gonna sit so now I'm gonna start mapping out where my pipe is gonna run and move from there later on today I'm gonna go down and buy a Dremel and Dremel that out hopefully alright so I got my straight section of pipe here and I've decided originally I was gonna hang it from right there um, you can see that would be perfect to run those two there because it's pretty much the same height too but uh, actually I decided what I'm going to do is hook a 45 right here. It's going to come up in here. Um, it's going to basically come out right here. It's going to be heading this way. Out. Okay, the 45 will end about right here. Then I'll use a piece of straight pipe to about right here, at which point I'll put another 45, and that's going to hook and bring it straight out of the exhaust in the back where we need it. Uh, that's the theory, at least. So I am going to cut it right there now, and then right where that 45 degree bend is in the pipe, that's where I'm gonna put the hanger. Alright, so I've got the exhaust, excuse the light exposure, it's pretty bad. Um, I've got the exhaust laid out here, and let's see if I can focus, there we go. Alright, got the new one tacked up. So, let's see. We'll get these about the same length, so we can see, those are about the same place now. You can see they're both in line with that. So the new one is just a tad bit longer. I am gonna take that piece off and put it on to the new system, uh, or at least I'm gonna try. I don't think it's gonna be very easy, but we'll see. Um, if not, that's pretty much gonna be the new system right there. Pretty simple. All right, so this part, I have the exhaust out. I have it fully tacked up, but um, I literally cannot widen out these holes. I have tried everything. I've tried Dremel bits. I don't have an air compressor so I can't use a Dremel but it didn't even scratch it in there. Um, so I've pretty much lost hope in widening those holes out. Uh, and I really don't... So basically here's my two options. I can cut this off which I don't really care about because that looks like crap anyway. But I can cut this off, cut this off, and weld this one to here or 
Second option is to take this guy and then cut off the flange that's on the end of the cat and weld this onto there. But the issue with that is I can't get the uh, downpipe uh, disassembled from the turbo because the bolts are just impossible and I'm not trying to dive that deep into all of this crap. Uh, and I really don't want to weld this underneath the car. So I don't know which one's the better option. Um, either way, it's going to require modifying my exhaust system, and I didn't want to do that. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is just cutting that off of there and welding that one onto there, because I think that's going to be the best option. Alright, so what I decided to do was cut the flange off of my stock cat back, and you can see here, it is fitted up and has a nice poopy weld on there. So what I'm doing now is I'm just doing these little uh, short beads along the pipe. I'm gonna do it everywhere. And then uh, I'm gonna do, do one short little bead on each side, throw it back in, line up where I need my exhaust hangers to be, and then put it in. If everything fits well, how it should, then I'm gonna weld it up all the way. All right, so now I am moving on to the part where I'm welding up those little tiny pieces, and I decided to start filming for a second because I'm about to start working on this one, and this one is gonna be incredibly hard because there is, let me see, there's quite a large gap in there, so it's not gonna be a very easy weld. Um, it might be a lot easier than I think, but let's go. I burnt through. Rip. Really? Yep. This is gonna be the hardest part right here. This whole, this this part right here is gonna be the hardest part. All right, so the pipe's not even fully welded up right now and this is gonna sound like absolute shit because it's gonna be exhaust leaks everywhere. But just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and start it up and see what it sounds like. I'm so excited. <laughs> I might shut it off really fast. Alright, so it started downpouring out here, which is super awesome, as you can see. Um, but, I have the entire pipe welded up now. All the fittings are welded, and some of them were good, some of them were shit. I did a couple good ones over here, though, for, for a Harbor Freight Flux Core. Well, they weren't too bad. But, uh, anyway, onto the hangers. What I did is just tack welded them at the bottom originally, and I wasn't even trying to make this look pretty, I was just trying to make it hold. So, I just piled on metal, made sure that I fused it really well, and then while it was still red hot on each side, I grabbed a cheater bar and just bent it down towards at a 90 degree angle, well pretty much 90 degree angle, that'll be a good enough angle to hang our pipe with. So now I have to, um, I'm going to weld the other side of that one as well, because this is the first one in the back, so I want to make sure that this hangs our pipe right where we want it to be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and weld the other side of that and then bend that down while it's still hot and then go ahead and fit it up and then I might have to take it out and do some more bending with the hangers but hopefully, hopefully, everything will be right where it's supposed to be first try but it's not really first try because I took everything out like a hundred times and measured it but I am about to do that so I will be back shortly. Alright, there we have a complete exhaust. I got my hangers bent. I got everything nice and welded up. Um, what I ended up doing, like I said, was taking that factory attachment, welding it onto there. Um, so this thing is ready to be thrown in right now. All right, several days in, several hours of frustration later, I'm finally finished, and I am outside. We've got it all self-suspended. Well, was that hole? No, I thought there was a hole in there. It's all self-suspended, and I mean, I still got to put like some of the brackets and stuff back in and the skid plate for the front, but other than that, it's good to go. Uh, so, let's do a startup. And I need my keys, so I'll be right back.
All right, so there you have it, man. Oh my God, that sounded sick. Oh my God, I can't wait to take it out and get it on the road and film some more. And I need to get it down. We're gonna take it for a spin tonight, test out on our own. You guys are gonna get to see that, sorry. I don't care. Uh, I will <laughs> record for you guys like tomorrow or something when it's daylight outside. But until then, um, yeah, this is sick. You guys are gonna see the next day in a second, but for me, I'm so excited. So, see you in the next clip.